Hello, my name is David, here with TechDraw again today, and I'm going to show you the proper way to trim a hydraulic hose. Tools needed today are the 5mm Allen wrench, 4mm Allen wrench, 3mm Allen wrench, and 7mm wrench. And you might want to use the closed end and the opened end as well. T15 Torx and alcohol solution. Included in Tektro's bleeding kit is bleeding injectors, hose cutter, piston stopper, hose retainer, compression ferrules, brass inserts, as well as mineral oil. First step, 5mm Allen wrench, remove the brake lever body from the bar. Next, let's remove the retainer bolt cover like so. Next, let's remove the retaining bolt using an 8mm open end wrench. Then continue opening and unscrewing the retainer bolt lever bolt. And be careful as fluid may spill. Before trimming, check for correct alignment and cable length to make sure that the cable has the correct length and check for fit. After checking for length, use a hydraulic hose cutter and cut like so. Your hose cut should be flat and very clean to make sure a proper fit. Next, take your compression ferrule making sure that your compression ferrule is facing inward and slide it over the hose like so. Next, place the brass insert inside the hose and slide it in to fully fit. Press the brass insert in using the Tektro compress. Slide the hose through here Hold the hose with this and then press the insert all the way in. Sliding it back out. Next, we insert the hose into the lever body, making sure that it's all the way in. Sliding the compression sleeve. Then threading the compression bolt using an 8mm open wrench. I will tighten just using a snug in like that, and I will finish by using an 8mm open and wrench, torque wrench to six newton meters. Installing the body lever over, brick lever over onto the bar. Using five millimeter Allen wrench. And finish by using torque wrench to eight newton meters. Last, making sure you slide the retaining bolt cover back over top of the bolt. After any caliper or lever change or of trimming of hose, it is always recommended to re-bleed your brakes. So we're going to go through the steps of doing that today. Let's start by unbolting caliper bolts. Next, let's remove the tap pad retainer bolt. Let's remove 
pads, pushing them through, and pulling them out of the body. Next, let's install the piston block into the brake body. Then reinstall the pad retainer bolt. Like so. In preparation for bleeding is important to adjust the lever so that the reservoir tank is level to the ground or to the bike. It's necessary to do that in order to take out the uh, bleed port and not have oil spillage. Let's connect the injector to the adapter. Sliding this piece over, connecting the hose. And tightening down like so. Now I'm going to fill the injector up with around 20 millimeters of mineral oil. like so. Using a T15 Torx wrench, I'm going to remove the bleed port on the lever. Okay, let's attach the bleed injector to the lever. Like so. Using a T15 Torx wrench, I'm going to take out the bleed port on the caliper. Let's attach the injector to the caliper. Okay, let's start the bead process. And slowly push down on the checking for the union bubbles coming into the system. You want to make sure you go all the way down using all the 20 mils and then holding and we're going to go back through the system making sure you're not pushing air back through and one more time from the caliper Let's remove the ejector attached to the caliper first. Reinstall the bleed port. And it's recommended holding the caliper with a clean towel. using my T15 torch wrench. Now let's take off the injector from the lever. Before installing the bleed port, 
let's check modulation to confirm that there's no bubbles left into the system and then go ahead and reinstall the lever lead port making sure this is very light torque between one point between point 0.8 to 1.2 newton meters very light torque the final step is repositioning the lever back to the customer's position. And always finish by using a torque wrench to seven to eight Newton meters for final torque on the lever. With alcohol solution, let's clean any remaining mineral oil on the lever and on any of the any of the attachments all the way down and check to make sure there's no mineral oil left into the piston block. Now let's remove the piston block and we just Moving the piston block retainer. And sliding out the piston block. Before reinstalling and touching the new pads, I have changed my gloves to make sure I don't have any residue from the bleeding. Now let's reinstall the pad retainer. Now let's reinstall the caliper onto the fork.